In the last few videos, we've been looking at the sine rule and the cosine rule. In this video, we're going to do an exam style question. In question number nine, we're told the diagram below shows a square with a triangle attached to one side. The triangle and the square share one side length. Given that the area of the square is 49 centimeters squared, we're asked to find the area of the triangle as a percentage of the area of the square. We're asked to round our answer to the nearest 1%. I'm just going to draw a sketch to the side, and what we've got here is the triangle. We've got a side length of 9, and now we've got this angle on the outside of 162 degrees. So this is going to be 9 centimetres. If the area of a square is 49, the square root of 49 is 7, so each side length will be 7. So we can put that that is 7 centimetres. Angles around a point sum to 360 degrees. We've got a 90 degree right angle here. So that's going to leave me that this angle now inside the triangle is 108 degrees. So that's the information that I can take from the question. And now I need to find the area of this triangle. The ideal scenario is if I had this angle here. If I've got that angle there, then I could use one half a b sine c. The alternative is to find this length. Now I could find that length using the cosine rule, but the calculation is going to be a lot harder than it is for me to find this angle right here using the sine rule and then subtract these two from 180. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say that this angle right here, I'm going to call this angle y, and I'm going to call this angle x. So using the sine rule to find the angle y, we can say sine y over 7 will be equal to the sine of 108 over 9. So sine y will be equal to 7 sine 108 over 9. Taking the inverse sine of both sides on the calculator, let's go ahead and do that. So we've got shift sine, sine to the negative 1, so we're going to have sine of 108, so sine 108, and we're going to divide that by 9. So this gives me 47.706, so y is 47.706, dot, 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 dot. Therefore, x is going to be equal to 180, minus for 108 we've got, minus the answer that we've just found. So that's 47, 7, 0, 6, and so on and so forth. So let's find the angle x. So if we do 180 minus 108 minus the answer, that gives us 24.29. So 24.29 dot, 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 and so on and so forth. I'm now going to use that just here. So we can say now that the area of a triangle is one half a, B, sine C, as we've seen in a previous video. So if I just put this on, what we're going to have here, this will be A, this will be B, and this will be C. Now, of course, we've got the value of C as 24.29. So using the calculator, we can say that the area is going to be 1 half multiplied by A, which is 7, multiplied by B, which is 9, multiplied by the sine of the 24.29. 29 dot 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 and so on and so forth so 0.5 times by 7 times by 9 times by the sine of this answer right here and that's going to give me 12.959 so 12.959 and so on and so forth so let's now look at that as a percentage of the area of the square so therefore what we've got is 12.959, which is the answer in the calculator, over 49 multiplied by 100. So with this one, if you want to store it in, you can do, just in case you make a mistake. We can divide this now by 49, and then we can multiply it by 100, and that gives me 26.44. So 26.447, and so on and so forth. Therefore, we're going to have 26%, and that is now to the nearest 1%. So it's just over one quarter of the area of the square.
So we've used the sine rule to find the missing angle. We've gone ahead and simply substituted that into one half AB sine C to find the area and then considered it now as a fraction of the area of the square.